What's going on guys, Spidey here, and this week I have a really cool treat for you guys. Last week I was scheduled to appear as a guest on a virtual talk show called The Suki and Scott Show. It's a talk show on Facebook. They always have incredibly talented guests, celebrity interviews. I'll leave a link in the description. And in my episode, they also had Oscar-nominated actor Chaz Palminteri, who we all know from Usual Suspects and Modern Family and a Bronx Tale. I'm a huge fan. Anyways, I got to do some tricks for him. These are pieces that are right on my virtual show. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys that performance. Just a quick heads up, during my first trick, the female host, Suki, had a problem with the audio and she couldn't hear what I was saying. So that's why she looks a little confused and doesn't quite react at the end. Anyways, here's the interview. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please remember to subscribe, turn those notifications on, and most of all, enjoy the magic. This is the prediction effect. Prediction is the claim that we can know something before it happens. And inside this box in front of me, there is a prediction, something I've predicted. And this is gonna involve Mr. Palminteri who's gonna help me with this. I've got a uh, notebook over here. There are 20 pages inside this notebook. He's gonna name a number from one to 20 and I'm gonna flip to that page in this book. That way, nobody knows the animal that he's gonna choose. Does that make sense for everyone? Okay. Mr. Palminteri, totally your call, number one to 20, hit it. What's the number? One to 20, uh, the number is two. Two, two. Do you want to change your mind or we're sticking with two? No, I'm okay with two. Okay, now I want to show Either you Jeter guys. guy. <laughs> Had he said one, that would have been Tiger. You could see that, right? Tiger. Yeah. yeah. Tiger. But he said two, and that is Gorilla. Do you see that? Yeah. It's even numbered. Yeah. But I also want you to see this. I'm going to stand up so you guys can see this. Because he could have said seven, and that would have been spider. Or he could have said uh, dog, or number 10, that would have been dog. You guys can see that these are all 100% different, right? Elephant and uh, giraffe. These are all numbered, and they're all different, correct? Panda, 16. You could see that, right? All different? Yeah. Yeah. But he said two, and that is gorilla. Could have been anything. He picked gorilla. Here we go. I said that inside the box. I had a prediction from the beginning for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, inside the box is this. Now I know what you're thinking, that's a funny looking gorilla. Um, that's not a gorilla at all. This is my tortoise, his name is Michelangelo. That's why he's got the orange rubber band around him. That's my tortoise, Michelangelo. Now we were talking about great twists earlier because Mr. Commentary was an usual suspect and every good picture comes with a great twist. Here's the twist. Michelangelo is not the prediction. He's the guardian of the prediction because under Michelangelo is a piece of paper. Uh oh. <laughs> that was under him the whole time. That's it. There's one piece it's of paper. No, that no way. Way. If I open that up. Oh, Chaz, I, I have a feeling it's going to say what you said. Yeah, no way. Ah, and there it is. Gorilla. You chose Gorilla. You chose Gorilla. I'm going to remove for this my jewelry because I don't want you to think that my bracelets or my watch have anything to do with that. Uh, we're going to start with this. I found this deck of flashcards. Uh, I, I, don't, I honestly don't even know why I have these. I think a friend of mine was here with his kid a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago <laughs> left this year. Uh, but I, I thought it would be interesting instead of playing cards to use these flashcards because, you know, we all know flashcards have like these big vivid images on them with the letters and they, they each one says something like xylophone. And, Kids learn how to read ring and all these different, all these different things. You see that they're all different. All the letters are there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll go back to, to Chaz. I'll give these a quick mix like this, and um, give them a series of cuts like that. And uh, they're totally mixed up, totally random. Uh, and Chaz, we'll do this. Name any number. There are twenty-six cards, so twenty-six letters. Usually, I would have you pick one, but you're not here, so. Name a number from one to 26, and I'll just count to that one and show you the letter. So go ahead, uh, what's, what number are we gonna count to from one to 26? I don't know, did he freeze? 11. Chaz, you there? Oh, yeah, he just said 11. 11? Oh, okay, 11. 11, do you wanna change your mind or we're sticking with that? Uh, I'm gonna stick okay. with that. So I'm gonna close my eyes because here's the thing, I know that if I show you a card here, I can see it because there's a monitor. So I'm gonna close my eyes, I'm gonna turn my head, and I'm gonna count to 11 very uh, slowly so you guys can see I'm not cheating and I can't see anything. So that's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that the eleventh card, Scott? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, right yep. there. I'm gonna show it to you. Don't say what it is. Just confirm if you could see it. I'm gonna show it to you like this. Can you see the letter and the word on that? Yeah. You yeah. should. I, is that good? You both could see that. Yeah. Um, yeah. We see the picture. We see the picture. Do you see the word as well? Yeah. Yeah. Look, yep. Yep. Great. I'm going to put it away okay. still, still still with my eyes closed. I'm going to put it away in the box. That way there's no way I could see what this is. Uh, it'll be isolated in the box. My eyes are still closed. I'm going to open them up right now for the first time. So there's no way I could see that. I'm going to leave that there. I'm not even going to look at it. And I'll even put the rest of these cards away. Um, so think in your mind, both of you, of the first letter of this word, just the first letter of it. And I'm going to try to guess that. Don't say a word out loud. I'm going to try to narrow it down to the first letter. Um, I'm getting a couple of things. I'm going to narrow it down to a whole bunch. I'm getting maybe that and that. That one. I think that one. And I'll go with that as well. Okay, so I wrote down a bunch of letters. And I think... No, I'm going to add one. I'm going to add this. I think the letter, the first letter is one of these. Not 100% sure. I'll show you these. Scott, is the first letter of the word right on on this somewhere? Yes, it is. Okay, it is. So I've narrowed it down pretty effectively. I'm going to try to narrow it down even further. And here's how. I've got these blank index cards that I'm going to place over here. On top of that, I'm going to put my marker. You can see that. My Sharpie marker goes on top. I'm going to fold in the corners of my bandana like this. And if you were here, I would let you touch this and pass your hand over it. No threads, nothing in the hands, nothing under here, nothing under the table. Nothing, just me. So I'm going to do this over here. And again, if you were here, I would allow you to like touch that, but, but you're not. So you're going to have to trust me. I'm going to try to get that marker to rise by itself and write down the word that Chaz randomly chose from, from all the 26 words. All right. Eagle. Oh, Chaz, it's moving. But I'm not, I wish you could see my legs because my legs are not moving. And you could see my fingers. Those are in view. Those are moving. If you're here, I'll let you touch this to feel that it's actually the pen and pass your hand over it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to touch that, bud. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, especially because you can't see the source, right? It's a little funny from here. Yeah, it looks a lot like this. I didn't realize. Um, for the first time, what was the word? It Say, was ice cream. Ice cream. Check this out. I'm going to do this like this at the fingertips because I want you to see that I'm not touching that. One, oh, I don't know if you see that. Me, that says friggin' ice cream. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Chaz, how, how did he do that? How did he do that? I love how Man. you go to Chaz. I love how you go to Chaz for hope. Like help. Yeah. <laughs> Like he's got an answer for me. I, I need someone to tell me how you did that. That's unbelievable. I don't know. Fuse in my name would get a beat he would get. Oh my god. I yeah. <laughs> it would it would get it out of him how he does it. I don't know how you do that. I love it. You got you got one more? Yeah, of course. Keep it going, baby. Five paper bags, each one has a color on it. That one says blue, that one says green, that one says red, orange, and and blue. You see that? Yeah, black, yep. green, red, orange, blue. Um, I also have five index cards, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a bit of a gap here so you can see this. Like this, I've got five index cards as well, and these have the matching colors. So there's black, there's green, there's red, there's orange, and then there's blue. You see that? So okay. one, yep. two, three, four, five cards, and they match the colors on the back. I'm gonna mix these like this so that nobody can know the order of the cards. You guys can't know, I can't know. Now here's what's happening. You don't realize this, but I'm putting something very valuable on the line right now. Something very dear to my heart is on the line right now. And you'll understand by the end what that means. So I've got uh, five cards and Scott, we'll go back to you here. Name any number from one to five. We're gonna go to that card and see the color you picked. Now I'll make this very clear. Whatever color you pick is safe. The other bags are not safe. So Scott, 
name the color that we're going to save. Any number from one to five, I'll count to it. Uh, do you want the number or the color? No, the number. We're going to count the number. It. All right, give me, uh, give me a uh, three. Three. So that would be that would have been one. You see that that's black. You didn't pick that. You didn't pick two because that would have been green. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing it myself. That would have been green. You picked this one over here. The the third one is this the third card? Yep. And that says what? Orange. Orange. Do we agree that that is 100 percent? fair and you could have said anything and you picked orange correct yes yes that's here that's orange right there now i did say earlier that whatever color you pick will be safe all the other ones will not this is orange the other ones you didn't choose are not safe <laughs> right now, I told you earlier that I'm risking something with this that's very valuable to me. And you could have picked any one of these, but these ones only have blocks of wood. None of those matter. You picked this one to save. Well, at the bottom of this bag, the only one I didn't smash happens to be my watch. <laughs> Jesus. But hold on, that's not that valuable. Because You're I mean, not it's a done watch. yet. It's a okay. watch. A watch is a watch. You know, you go back to the store, you buy another watch. Not a big deal. I'm trying to get this thing on. But I said that this was risking something very valuable. See, the watch wasn't the only thing inside the bag. The bag you saved also had our buddy, Michelangelo. Oh, my God. How did he get in there? The very beginning. <laughs> How the hell did he get in there? <laughs> hey, buddy. Say hi. Oh, uh, my. What you, is there somebody under that table doing stuff? What's no, happening? Is, I'm, I'm sorry. I wish you were here so you could see around me. There's no one oh under here. God. Hold on. Let me give you guys a crotch shot here. No one. And I mean, there's no access to the back, right? There's no holes in the back. Or, no. It's not smash. Um, so that's how you know I knew, you know, it was the orange one. <laughs> Chaz, no, any ideas? <laughs> no access to that. Chaz, that was unbelievable, no? You know, when you told me the necklace, I said, all right, you know, let's, how good could these guys be? He was terrific. He really was. Unbelievable. He was I great. Mean, no, listen, I've I've seen his stuff. I, I watched him on YouTube. I saw him on morning shows and network shows. And, uh, you know, the guy just really, he, he blew everybody away.